Welcome back at 6.52. Time for your morning news now. The snow and slush causing some of our area schools to be closed and delayed this morning. We will start with the closures. That includes the ACHM School District, the Blair Taylor School District, the CFC Community School District, the Cadet School District, the Chatech Weyerhaeuser Area School District, Chippewa Falls Public Schools, Gilmington Area Schools, the Independence School District, the Mondovi School District, the Stanley Boyd Area School District, and the Whitehall School District. All of those schools have no school today. Now to the delays. The Black River Falls School District, the Eastern Alamaki Community School District, the Lewiston Altura School District, the Melrose Mindoro School District, the Rushford Peterson School District, St. Charles Public Schools, and the Wabasha Kellogg Public Schools will start two hours later than normal this morning. Houston School District and the Caledonia School District 299 will only have their buses on main roads today. For a full list of those delays and closures, visit our website, news8000.com. Israel and Hamas could soon swap hostages and prisoners. The deal would include 40 Israeli hostages and about 700 Palestinian prisoners, among them 100 Palestinians serving life sentences for killing Israeli nationals. The CNN analyst who helped break the news predicts some Americans could go free in this exchange and says it could take a couple days for Hamas negotiators to pass a response from their leader. That news comes the same week as Israeli officials are expected to visit Washington. La Crosse's yard waste and brush site on Isle La Plume will be closed today. That closure is based on the recent inclement weather. The site is expected to be closed through Sunday, March 31st. The city says during this time there will be no access to compost or wood chip piles. The site will be back open for regular hours next Monday, April 1st. In a budding partnership, Northside Elementary and Cooley Montessori are teaming up with the La Crosse Rotary Club to build an outdoor living classroom. This new greenhouse will provide hands-on lessons in gardening for students while also offering fresh produce to local families. The project is a true community effort with students raising funds through art and plant sales and generous contributions from the Rotary After Hours and Franciscan Sisters. I am looking forward to the children being in the greenhouse and working with plants and getting their hands in the soil and um, getting, doing a lot of hands-on learning. The greenhouse costs about $32,000. They plan to have it finished up by next month. The La Crosse and Onalaska YMCA kicking off its fundraising efforts, kicking them into high gear with their annual Pedal for a Purpose event. Teams of five cycled their hearts out, raising money for cancer survivorship programs. The event kicked off with inspiring testimonies from survivors, followed by an intense 45-minute ride. I think it's just important to note that we have reached our fundraising goal already. We had a goal of $40,000 and we're already at $42,000 and we truly couldn't do it without the help of our donors, our community. 28 teams participated with more than 140 riders. Well, snow changing to rain showers far north, a little bit of a lull in the La Crosse area, but more showers, even some thunderstorms over north central Iowa, and that will move into the area as the morning progresses. Now, current temperatures, everyone above freezing now, 34 in Eau Claire, 37 in La Crosse, even some low 40s far south. We'll see highs today around 51. Again, periods of primarily rain, maybe some thunder in spots as well. Chance of rain and snow showers tomorrow, 42. Cold but dry on Wednesday, highs in the upper 30s.